It's Friday, February 27, 2009, and this is your SLU News 22 update. Topping headlines, President Barack Obama unveiled his federal budget for 2010, which predicts a $1.7 trillion deficit. The budget will be $3.6 trillion for the next year that will transfer wealth from rich taxpayers to the middle class and poor. The president will also announce today that most of the 142,000 troops that are stationed in Iraq will be reduced by August 31st, 2010, or in 19 months. After that date, there will be about 35,000 to 50,000 still in the country. The president will make his announcement at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina this morning. In international news, the death toll continues to rise in Bangladesh after a two-day mutiny has killed over 100, mostly military. The Bangladesh army is in the process of accounting for missing officers that may have been killed by rebel border guards in Dhaka. In business news, GM Chairman Rick Wagoner was in Washington yesterday to press for more government assistance as GM posted the largest quarterly deficit in the company's history. GM lost $9.6 billion in the last quarter of 2008 and over $30 billion last year. GM is asking for an additional $16.6 billion in loans from the federal government in addition for, to the $13.4 billion the company's already been given. In enter, entertainment news, model Giselle Bunkin and New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady got married in Santa Monica, California on Thursday in a private ceremony at the Santa Monica Catholic Church. Miss Bunkin and her three dogs wore Dolce and Cabana. Next time you go to Times Square in New York, don't bring your car. The city of New York is, bring, is making Times Square a pedestrian only as a pilot project. If it's a, a success, the change will become permanent. Starting in May, two pedestrian malls will be created at Broadway, at Times Square, and Herald Square. An additional bonus will be that travel times will improve. In health, researchers at the University of Oxford and Great Britain are suggesting that one glass of wine with dinner every night could increase the risk of cancer in women. The study suggests that the alcohol content accounts for nearly 13% of cancers involving the breast, liver, rectum, and parts of the digestive tract. In Billiken Sports, Amanda Kemenes scored 13 points with eight rebounds in the Lady Bills win at home over St. Bonaventure on Wednesday. The 12 and 16 women's program also had first team academic All-American Teresa Lish contribute 12 points and 11 points from Alicia Goodwood and Lauren Woods. The final was 64-57 and the women's program will finish their season Sunday at Richmond at 1 p.m. The men's team, however, lost to St. Bonaventure Wednesday on the road in Riley Center in New York, 72-55. First team All-American Kevin Lish contributed 13 points, and Kumain Mitchell led the team with five point, with 15 points. Rather, The men's program is now 17-11 and 8-6 and and in the Atlantic 10 and will be back in action on Wednesday, March 4th, when they play to Kane. A program note, there will be no Slew News 22 this upcoming week or news updates because of midterms. Be sure to see David Keller's Slew Connection weekend forecast. We'll be right back here after spring break. For Maggie Sepchek, David Keller, Priscilla Lichty, Max Meiser, and all of us at Slew TV, good day and good luck. Thank you.